In Lagos, the chief pathologist of the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital that led the second autopsy on the late Sylvester Romani Jr. has ruled out chemical intoxication as the cause of death. But upon cross-examination, he admitted that a blackish substance found in the intestine of the deceased during the procedure was in transferred to a toxicology laboratory to test for poisoning, as alleged. Chemifal Adeyemo has more on day eight of the coroner's inquest into the controversial death. Two autopsies were conducted on 12-year-old Sylvester Romoni Jr., who died under questionable circumstances on November the 30th, 2021. The first procedure done at the Central Hospital in Wari, Delta State, on December the 2nd, concluded, among other findings, that the cause of death was chemical intoxication arriving from acute lung injury. But on December the 14th, the chief pathologist at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Associate Professor Sunday Shoyemi, carried out another autopsy on the deceased before 14 witnesses. The expert witness told the coroner sitting in Ikeja, Magistrate Mikhail Kadri, that the primary cause of death was septicemia, a serious bloodstream infection caused by loba pneumonia, in other words, infection of the lungs, an infection of the muscles around the young boy's right ankle. He added, a Tuesday sitting that the first autopsy shouldn't have concluded on chemical intoxication as cause of death because the deceased esophagus and trachea weren't opened to ascertain the ingestion of any injurious substance. According to Professor Shoyemi, who was led in his evidence by the Director of Public Prosecution at the Lagos Ministry of Justice, Babajide Martins, the pathologist in Wari did a botched autopsy, which was the cause of the controversy surrounding the case. But upon the objection of the senior advocate of Nigeria representing the Oromoni family, Femi Falano, that the witness shouldn't comment on a document not tendered before the court by the state. The magistrate ordered that the DPP limit his questioning to the second autopsy done in Lagos. Professor Shoyemi stressed that test results of samples taken from the corpse showed generalized infection around the liver, spleen and kidneys, which he says could have been properly managed if the deceased was taken to a good hospital on time. During cross-examination, Mr. Falano asked the witness how he concluded that the blackish substance found in Sylvester's intestine didn't reflect the presence of poisoning. The lead pathologist admitted under the counsel's prodin that he didn't send the substance to a toxicologist to conduct tests on it because Lasso doesn't have a facility that tests for the presence of poison in the body. But the witness ruled out poisoning, saying the unknown substance could have been fecal matter mixed with the embalment fluid. Upon counsel for the Nigerian Bar Association, Bernard Onega's further questioning on his failure to do a toxicology test on the deceased, the witness said it was impossible to do the test because the stomach had already been opened by the first pathologist and the blood, urine, vitreous fluid and gastric contents needed for the test had already been sucked out during the embalming. Proceedings resume on Monday, February the 14th. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.